Okay, so now that we have completed the table of values, let's try to put them on the graph, shall we? Okay, so when x is negative 2, we go 2 to the left and then up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There you go. When x is negative 1 to the left, we go up 1, 0, 0. 1 to the right, 1 up. 2 to the right, 4 up. Ooh, look at that. Now, can you describe your graph to me? There you go. And you can actually extend it. Oh, that's not a perfect graph, but you guys can do a better job for sure than what I can on my screen. All right. So can you describe to me how your graph looks like? What letter does it form? What letter does it, you know, is it similar with? Yeah. It's like a letter B or a letter U. Uh -huh. So try to kind of make it curve at the bottom to make it more like a U compared to a V. Okay. Now, I'm going to be writing a lot of notes about this graph, which we will use to answer the next Schoology thing later on. So write everything down, okay, and ask questions if you don't get it. Uh -huh. Okay, the first one is, um, okay, the first one is the lowest point right here. Okay, so the minimum point. Wait, I have to admit some over there. So the minimum or the lowest point is called the vertex. Vertex. And for this chapter, vertex is life. I know that sounds cheesy, but for this chapter, <laughs> vertex is life. If you if you will just learn how to find the vertex, you're gonna survive this chapter. Okay. All right. So the vertex is zero zero because that's your lowest point. Yeah, it's the bottommost point of the graph. So zero zero. From the vertex alone. You're going to get all the answers, all the answers to the following. Number one, axis of symmetry. Now, what do we mean by axis of symmetry? It's the line that cuts your parabola, oops, I missed that one, into two equal parts. You see? So when you flip the left side to the right side, they would match exactly, right? So the axis of symmetry, has an equation. And to remind you of that equation, you know, it's the axis of symmetry. I wanted to emphasize that because it has a letter X, yeah? So your equation will start with letter X. X is equal to, you don't even have to think about it. This is the Y axis, right? So what is the equation of the Y axis? Since it's X equal to, you get the x number of the vertex. Let me say it again. Axis of symmetry begins with x equals, and it's the x number of your vertex, so zero. So the equation of the y-axis is x equal to zero. Did you understand that, yes or no? So it's important that you understand what it means by axis of symmetry and Find a pattern on how to get it. Okay, so if you understood that, could you type X in the chat pod? Type X in the chat pod. All right. Some more. All right, you guys. That's great. What about the others? Okay, next one. So type in X in the chat button if you get it. Or ask questions if you, if you have any. The next thing I'm going to show you is um, the... Thank you. Okay, so next is I'm going to, you know, we're going to identify where the graph is increasing and where the graph is decreasing. So what does that mean? Increasing is... When you trace it from left to right, it's going up. So you see that?
from the middle to the right is going up. But from the left to the right, see, it's going down. It's going down from here. Okay, so when is the graph increasing and when is the graph decreasing? And what letter or how are you going to write down the answer? <clears throat> so you're going to follow the same pattern, X and X. Okay, and whatever the axis of symmetry is, that's your dividing line, so you still follow that. Zero, zero. Okay. So now, what do you put in the middle? You will put either a less than or a greater than. How do you know whether it's greater than or less than? Which leads me to my next thing. If it's concave up, it's just a fancy name for opening up. Okay, the graph is opening upward, right? So the math term for that is concave up. So don't be confused. It's just another way to say, oh, the graph is opening upward. So if the graph is opening upward, this should be greater. Because when, when the values are to the right of zero, your graph is going up. But the graph is going down when the x values are negative. So this is less than zero. So, but for some of us who may get confused, I'm showing you, I'm teaching you other patterns to, to make it easier. If the graph is opening up, it's increasing greater than zero. Once you know what is greater than zero, then the other will just be the opposite, right? And take note, all these numbers, they all came from the x value of the vertex. So I told you, vertex is life. Okay, last two, domain and range. Okay, the domain, you don't have to think about it. You tried negatives, you tried positives, you tried zero. So that's going to be all real numbers. All real numbers. Okay, for the range, for the range, you're using only two letters, either X or Y. We have used the X already. And the word ray has the, has the sound of Y in it, right? I know that's funny, but if it's funny, you remember it. So ray, okay? So you're going to use the letter Y. So range will be Y, yeah? Okay, so the range are where the possible values of Y. So since your graph is above, zero you see that the numbers are always greater than zero so we put greater than or equal to zero where did we get the y from it's from the y number of the vertex now how do you know whether this is greater than or equal to um usually 99 percent of the time you include the vertex so that's equal to and it won't make it wrong if you put the equal to right here so both work. It doesn't matter which one you, you put. Okay? All right. So how do I know whether this is greater than or less than again? Well, same pattern as this one. If it's opening up, you want it to be greater than. If the parabola is going down, then you want it to be uh, less than. Okay. So um, I hope you wrote all of those down because you will need that in the next activity. So I'll give you maybe like 30 seconds to copy down with or finish up whatever you're copying. And whenever you're done, you're gonna click on next. Just click on the, there's like a next button somewhere here if you scroll up. And that, the, that's the activity we're gonna do next. Okay, I'm gonna erase this. All right, so click on next. Everything that I ask you to write down are summarized here. Okay, so I just put it there so those who are not with us can read, can read it also at their own time. So click on next again. All right, and I'm going to edit this one so you can see it at the, at the right hand side.
Okay, so everything that I ask you to copy, you will you will match them over here. You see that? Let's take a preview of this one. All right, you see this? So you are going to write down the characteristics of the parent quadratic function, which you just graphed on your paper, right? Which you will also upload later on. So we did three things today, you guys. The warm-up, the interleave review, right? We did three from each set. You just had to finish three more from each. We did the graphing on your paper. We did that together. You have to upload that. And then the notes that I asked you to write down, you're going to match them on this one. You understand? So all three, we did those all together. I'm just saying that because when I was finishing up the grades, I was so frustrated. Why? Because I knew like we did them together, but most of you didn't finish. I know, and I do understand some of you have responsibilities at home and you're doing more what you're supposed to. I get that, you guys. But sometimes you also have to find the time to really sit down and do your work. Okay, so let's do this. You just have to match them up. So vertex, what's the vertex? You wrote that down earlier. You just have to click on the vertex and it will automatically appear, you know, and the answer. So can you guys do that? Okay, do it now. I know, and I was saying earlier that I do understand your situation with the Zoom learning because I also see that in my own kids. I get phone calls almost every week about my kid not in Zoom. Why? Because she's leaping, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, my God. So it's really hard for all of us, you guys. Like I 